all right so what is going on today youtube i got a little quick video for you guys where i'm gonna try to make it quick probably keep it between 10 and 15 minutes so i got a little video for you guys today and about uh san diego recap and my opinion uh or unpopular opinion on time so before we get into all that i would like to say if you guys haven't already go ahead and subscribe and after the video gets done if you'd enjoyed it uh leave a like and if you didn't enjoy it let me know why and you know your comments and all that uh definitely comment on this video because i definitely want to hear you guys' opinion also if you guys want to help the channel out links are down in the description down below um without further ado let's go ahead and get started i would like to say um first and foremost man this is probably top three regionals of all time for me uh, really really just it's just just so beautiful i'm gonna get into that um secondly um actually no not, not even secondly like another first most uh, congratulations to my brothers i mean to my brother uh shout out to my brother man he went and got first uh my other homie uh he got first in la uh, the la regional man so back to back you know pretty much first from you know pretty much a little same little crew uh we all duel and hang out so shout out to him he went x1 with go Keats, only person undefeated and then he lost the last round but since he was undefeated and he was playing down um he ended up getting the victory uh man big props to him man that's con man congratulations um on to nationals now uh the second thing i want to say is alter guys is the best deck of all time um we'll get into that why they are uh i, I am sorry to all, every alter guys player in the world because apparently um i didn't know how great the deck was um thirdly uh i got tarnished and I, and what i mean i've been dragged to the depths of hell by alter guys like all the alter guys players especially that win motherfucker the salute whatever that motherfucker name dragged me straight down to hell and, and hit put me on something i don't know what happened they picked me up tombstone me and throw me down in a, in a basket going downhill at 75 miles per hour to hit a stop sign i don't know what happened but it went downhill very fast um a quick recap of san diego round one played all guys um uh turn one tried to do something got impermanence that's completely fine ended with a sucker into my turn um searched a spell with slayer he goes he sets a whole bunch of back row my goal activated spell imperial order game that was over game two uh, uh i went red reboot on one of his traps black rose the board um one from there uh game three secret village in the game Round two, Alto Guys again. What did he start off with? Um, he, he goes with double protocol. Um, I try to summon uh, something. He bounces with the green guy because he has it. Um, set, set. Uh, he goes. He doesn't have anything. Bam. I finally get over his. Uh, finally get over the little green guy. Go to attack. He has the one that negates attacks. Then, uh, excuse me, but pretty much know what happened from there. Uh, game two. Um, end up OTK him after a red reboot, uh, Shogun Saga and Battle Lord, and then uh, game uh, game three opened up Secret Village. Um, that was it for the deck. Uh, round three played against my homie. He was playing Heroes. Uh, I too owed him. He already has an invite, so I think he was playing around. Uh, round four played against Alter Guys again, and pretty much the same exact thing happened. Round one, um, he wins. I mean, game one he wins. Game two I win. Game three Secret Village, and that was pretty much it. Um, yeah, so yeah, it just got tarnished by Alter Guys. I don't know how I played three Alter Guys out of four, but uh, yeah, man, just uh, just very bad. Uh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow um, with the changes I make to the deck and stuff like that. But yeah, man, it got got totally scraped by Alter Guys because apparently, apparently I can't be Alter Guys. Um, but Jesus Christ, man, Secret Village just, just needs to get banned. But anyways, um, on to the uh, pretty much the main topic of this video, and which is going to be a very unpopular opinion. A lot of people may not like this. A lot of you may not like this, but I agree with the new time rules. Um, it's just beautiful, man. If, if you guys aren't from California or, you know, I don't know how you guys' regionals are, but our regionals always end at 12 o'clock. One o'clock in the morning makes no fucking sense. Everybody don't want to be there that that long. That's not that's not how I like playing you. I don't like to waste my whole day playing you. You're like, sure, I'll play the seven uh, like this. If this event ended at eight o'clock. And it could have ended at seven if we didn't take an hour break in the middle for the judges to eat, um, which another thing makes no fucking sense. Like we didn't get a lunch break, but they did weird. But hey, um, I guess that's how they want to run it. That's how they want to run it. But yeah, man, we got out there at eight o'clock done, gone, ready to go home. Everything done. Like we were out of there. Beautiful, man. That, that's just what I like, man. 
just just the, the new time rules that's what i like about the new time rules is because we're in and out man in and out and that's what i want to do i don't want to sit there all day um it's like we're not getting paid for this man we're just trying to play and spending 12 plus hours playing Yu Gi Oh is just a it's just a very big hassle and i i definitely don't agree with that um but yeah man i, I really do enjoy the new time rules this is my first event under the new time rules and i i, I like it uh, my style of play anyways is I already know what I'm doing since I already you know I've been playing zombies for a minute I know exactly what I'm doing any deck that I take to a regional or to an event uh, or to it like a local or something I know exactly what I'm doing because I play test with the deck so it doesn't take me six minutes it may take me six minutes to complete the turn because I'm doing all these combos but it doesn't take me you know two minutes or three minutes to figure out what I'm going to do when I open up a solitaire or some shit like that because that's what a lot of people do and I feel like it forced Konami's hand to make rules like this is because people keep just you know stalling for no reason like like this like when you know you have three extra turns to do some shit like it just takes a lot like it doesn't need to take that long that's and that's the main thing about it it's just like you I, I i don't know once again i don't i'm only speaking for california regionals or la and it basically la anaheim san diego for and and las vegas las vegas is pretty fast but um this for out here in my little area the ones i've been to my god like it does not everybody does not it shouldn't be half the field in fucking time all every round like i can understand two three rounds that every round it's half the field and that is that's just ridiculous this time no no time i mean there is no time so the longest we had to wait without like i said the lunch break from the judges was probably 20 minutes and that's that's crazy that's crazy to think like uh maybe 30 i, I don't know it's, it's one of those two it, it like i said it, it, it at at the moment i was upset because i'm like damn what we got these new time rules for when we can't even you know it's 30 minutes in time because they're disputing something like hurry up like simple as that now the things i do not like about it now everything about the new time rules is not pretty and perfect what i do like is that we're in and out uh, and then like i said in 10 minutes after after the uh 10 minutes after the the 40 minutes is over we already got to the next round up and that's a beautiful i don't know about y'all but what i like to play Yu Gi Oh, i like to play Yu Gi Oh. i don't want to wait an hour in between just imagine playing the first quarter of basketball waiting an hour and playing the second quarter that is not what the hell any first of all any athlete anybody will tell you that really drains them because it's like bro i have to wait another hour i just spent the hour dueling i gotta wait another hour waiting on them and once again you can't leave because you don't know when it's going to start um now you can't leave period but i'm just saying at, le at least you know if you if you win in 20 minutes you know you have 20 minutes to get back at least you know that before it's okay well i don't know if i have 20 minutes i don't know if i have an hour and 20 minutes i don't know if i have two hours there's a game that lasted two hours in time like that's just stupid but yeah like the things uh, the things i don't agree with is the end of the phase thing that's stupid that is not enough time for somebody to figure out uh i mean figure out a play or do a play like that's just ridiculous um what i would suggest is you know either every both players get a main phase in the battle phase or you know just to the end of the battle phase that's what it should be because there's a lot of times and it happened to my friend and uh, my brother he said that if he had more time he definitely probably you know he not not definitely would have won but he could have won if he had more time but you know um it's just like the whole interface makes no sense another thing is they have to update the rules because there are a lot of people like i was just talking about a lot a lot of people cheating deliberately cheating knowing that they you know knowing that they don't have anything to stop you from going into battle phase uh just trying to stall basically out for time and that's something konami has to address like it, it can't be the end of phase because of that simple rule it should just be to the end of battle phase because um, and actually, it shouldn't be that. It should be when time call you immediately go into battle phase. Some, yeah, something like that, and then you make your move because uh, uh, if if you if we do it to what I just said, the end of the, I mean, to, to uh, basically to the end of the battle phase, then people is going to take six hours in main phase one, and then go from there. And then once again, it doesn't it doesn't automatically give your opponent a fair shake. So I mean, I guess the end of the phase is the only thing they could have technically did, but it it doesn't. It's not right because like i said there's a lot of people cheating now what konami has to do is simple is they'd have to tell the judges or update the rules listen if a person is deliberately cheating ban like you're automatically kicked out of the event automatically disqualified 
no we're not going to tolerate that there's no reason you have no sets you have nothing in hand you have one monster that cannot activate why are you telling me i can't enter the battle phase now that is where it gets a lot of tricky because i mean it gets very tricky because think about it new jersey had 1300 people there's not 1300 judges shit there's not even 650 judges like there's not there's first of all nobody's going to be able to answer those amount of calls but once again it's all about i'm pretty sure the majority of uh people are uh the reason why they lost is because the opponent you know try to cheat try to stall but once again everybody you got to be aggressive you got to literally uh, uh, take basically don't don't let your opponent cheat you you know just listen I'm going to the battle phase do you have any response no you like you should first of all and then if he says oh well yeah maybe I do I'm um, thinking and then you clearly see it raise your hand call the judge listen judge I called you know I wanted to go in the battle phase and, you know it was 30 seconds left on the clock he sat there and waited to think and if the judge should basically the judge should be able to check his back row check his hand and determine pretty much if you're able to do anything or not and even if you are able to do anything okay do it so he can go in his battle phase just like that because then you wouldn't get people trying to cheat or like i said just disqualify him just you clearly he said oh, sir you have nothing to do disqualify automatically disqualify get up and leave and and if you get mad that's your that's once again your entire fault because you're trying to cheat your, pro, your opponent out of beating you because you clearly lost the duel um and that's what i feel like they should have to enforce another thing is um use the time to your advantage man you know you have 40 minutes you know if it's going if it's game two ended at eight 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 minutes right you have you guys have to sign for game three you know that you're going into game three you lost game three you know what you should do don't go first because oh my deck goes first no let your opponent goes first because after he gets done you now have momentum you now have the clock on your side because your opponent once again do not let your opponent stall you out listen say hey man come on it's eight minutes left seven minutes left whatever it is come on man make your place call a judge if you need to he say listen sir I'm, tr I'm trying to play but he's doing this and so now or what you what i usually do is I, when i play fast my opponent plays fast and once again like i said use this don't cheat but use this stuff to your advantage like start playing fast or even if you do go first if it's 15 minutes left on the clock okay go first start making your plays fast and so your opponent is gonna be like okay well he's not trying to cheat me i'm not gonna try to cheat him unless you just get a douchebag or some shit like that that is a whole entirely different story but most of the time when i play somebody like i remember it was probably one of the best duels i was playing against dark dark world we literally sat down shook hands and i, I just like when i did my play i was doing my plays he went he did his place he said in phase go and, you know and i was like okay battle phase attack he's like okay write it down bam bam well, we, we literally i lost but you know i lost in like i mean it, it was a 10 minute match and shook hands no 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 disruption no nothing like but that was a long time ago and that was with like turns like we, we were done we we're in and out and it, there's no need to do all that but once again if you're going into game three and you know it's 10 minutes 15 minutes left on the clock if it's under 10 minutes i suggest you let your opponent go first because once they make their plays you know you have five minutes on your turn or you at least have you, you basically can get advantage and then have your opponent basically have to hurry up through his plays and that's simply uh which basically i mean that's just going to come with a lot of time people are going to start doing different maneuvers and not maneuvers but you know, i have different strategies going into time there's some people siding poison of the old mans and stuff like that that's what you got to do that's what you got to do but what a lot of people can't do is complain because you lost in, like you lost in time you have 40 minutes to play like there's no reason um unless you just really have a back and forth duel and that's not a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays just think about it the top decks are trickster sky strikers i haven't seen that deck in action so i don't know um gokis uh brandish and all those are just streamlined plays you don't just do your plays like let's go let's play the game there's no reason that 40 minutes is not enough time uh, people complaining i feel like they just want to complain to something that's new uh, but i think eventually everybody's going to you know agree with this because man we, when you get out of regional at 7 30 8 o'clock i think you're going to feel pretty good and you start at 10 30 that's pretty good to me man that that just that's why i love it man it's fast to the point i'm tired of 12 hour regionals i'm tired of 13 hour regionals i don't know if you guys went to long beach but we was playing at three o'clock in the morning and that scarred me for the rest of my damn life i don't want to do that um, I don't know about y'all, but I damn sure don't want to go into time every single round and have to wait and have to wait. Um, what I would say, man, is just, man, you guys know the time. Practice, 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 and practice. You, you, I mean, you can't practice enough. Know your plays before you're doing them. 
know ins and outs of your deck you know what you're playing um it's not really that hard just and then also once again use the time to your advantage you know, i'm not saying cheat i'm not saying stall until the one second is left on the clock and end your turn no don't do that use it you know use it to your advantage to where uh when it comes that basically you don't have to weave it into the hands of the clock and i you know it's just like they say in sports i mean don't leave it up to the referees because that's pretty much a 50 50 and you don't know what's going to happen leave it leave it all basically on the table if you're going to lose you're going to lose because you lost you're not going to lose because time was called you're not going to lose because a judge ruled it a different way just play the game know your deck practice with the clock like my, my homie Big E, man, he was he was saying, hey, man, we need to practice for the, you know, with the clock. Um, at first we didn't do it, but then we started doing it. And then it's literally like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, you know, our you know, your plays, it gets down to that eight minute, five minutes. And if you know your deck more than your opponent knows his or, his or her deck, then you're going to be in an advantage because you know how to think under pressure. They don't, they, they don't, they're just trying to figure out plays or they don't know the deck in and out. They know some of it. They know the, only the major plays. So when they draw a hand, they don't know bam they're basically done for and they're you're gonna win the more experienced player is gonna win under these rules but once again folks be aggressive do not let your opponent cheat you into losing don't let him stall you listen i understand that you know maybe a lot of people you aren't rude or aren't aggressive or anything like that but you uh, or not even aggressive let's just say be assertive you got to be really assertive man let's say sir come on man like let's go yeah i, I understand you stall off in time i'm gonna call a judge if you don't make you know make your play you know i'm calling the judge your opponent has two cards in hand there's not too many fucking ways he can you know think of a different combo uh like come on like play the damn game call the judge if you need to and if you and if you don't agree with the judge say call the head judge do what you got to do to get your win do not let your opponent beat you by cheating or trying to literally stop going into battle phase because he knows he lost but anyways that is it for the let me know you guys thoughts and stuff like that and i will see you guys tomorrow